Soviet citizens no more. We are now stateless. I was born in Chicago when I was 31 years old. Dad is turning the pages strangely from left to right. The alphabet looks strange too. It must be Yiddish. Please teach me how to read Yiddish. That is not safe. If the Soviet Union wanted American grain, and uh, did it want bushels and bushels of American grain, then it must allow Soviet Jews to emigrate. It was clear that the future did not look bright for the intelligentsia, meaning professionals, particularly the Jewish intelligentsia. Having retired and not scared about losing a job anymore, Avram, with much trepidation, began ordering matzah for Passover. It won't happen tomorrow, but capitalism is certainly decaying, decaying, decaying. But, but the, the smell, smell is, is rather splendid. Nobody was lower on the Soviet social ladder or pay scale than doctors and engineers. A girl proved her respectability with modest clothes and manners by not progressing beyond kisses and by not admitting the need to pee, no matter how long the date. Bras made in the Soviet Union only came in three sizes. In the, in the name, name of, of the Union, Union of, of the Soviet, Soviet Socialist, Socialist Republics, she pronounces us husband and wife. As the saying goes, cowards leave, risk takers stay. And we are definitely cowards. Mrs. Miller tells us that the Chicago Jewish community will sponsor us. We are crushed. Chicago means gangs and slaughterhouses. American Jews saw an unknown species in us, their cousins from behind the Iron Curtain. They were asked to find the Afikomen, and we had no idea what that was. The lady of the house was insulted by our ignorance. How many bushels are my children worth? How many bushels are my five grandchildren worth? How many bushels am I worth? <laughs>